For a young girl, Tiffany Gamble has seen her fair share of struggles, but a fundraiser this April looks to try and make new strides towards the research of her very rare disorder. Friedrich's taxia is a neuromuscular disorder. <laughs> it's round in the family with muscular dystrophy. It has to do in the back of your brain with the um, message from your brain going to your muscles is jabbled or jumbled or however you want to say it. And the muscles like slowly f like forget how to work. It's been six years since Tiffany was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia at the young age of 15. I was very clumsy when I was younger. I played soccer and I always tripped a lot and I always just said like, oh, I have bad balance. And I blamed it on that and just threw it away and didn't think about it. Friedrich's ataxia is extremely rare, affecting 1 in 50,000 people in the United States. It's caused by a mutation in the FXN gene and requires both parents to be carriers in order for it to be passed on. Other than herself, Tiffany only knew one person in Massachusetts with Friedrich's ataxia. But two years ago, that all changed when an old friend from middle school contacted her. My friend who used to go here to middle school in class with me, she got diagnosed. It was so crazy because, like, no one really has it. Like, not a lot of people around here have it. Like. Symptoms usually present in youth between the ages of 5 and 15. In most cases, the earlier the onset, the faster the disease progresses. Friedrich's ataxia can also lead to other conditions like diabetes, visual impairment, hearing loss, slurred speech, aggressive scoliosis, excessive fatigue, difficulty breathing, and, in Tiffany's case, a serious heart condition called cardiomyopathy. It's a thickening of one of the walls in my heart. So basically, if I work out too much, it may pump too much, and that's not good. Despite all of this, Tiffany continues to pursue her dreams without allowing her disease to define who she is. The young 21-year-old is an active member of the campus community at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, taking courses in women's studies and sociology. I want to work with helping stop human trafficking. Tiffany's determination and perseverance also puts her at the forefront of finding a cure for Friedrich's ataxia. In the six years since her diagnosis, she's raised over $25,000, including fundraisers with the Bridgewater Youth Soccer Association, Coyle and Cassidy High School, and her sorority, Phi Sigma Sigma. Her family's latest endeavor is a benefit at the Portuguese Holy Ghost Hall on April 9th. It will showcase local medium and DJ Karen McDonough, a woman donating her time for the cause and with a special message to a potential audience member. She keeps getting a message from me and saying like the fundraiser is going well and he wants to like give a message to someone there. All funds raised will support the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance, a grassroots organization founded in 1998 by a group of parents, now the leading recognized force in Friedrich's ataxia research. They don't have a cure yet, but they're working on treatments and best way to like treat your body is just to keep moving, work out, do yoga, Pilates. Um, I do pool therapy in the summer. Though Friedrich's ataxia is incurable, there is a silver lining that one day a treatment will be found. Currently, there is a drug up and coming that reverses the effects of Friedrich's ataxia inside the Petri dish. It's first going through the FDA and then it has to go through three um, clinical trials. So it's good to raise money for that because they need money for the clinical trials. High hopes. It is tough for drug companies to sponsor clinical trials since Friedrich's ataxia is an orphan disease. Part of the Research Alliance's mission is to educate the public, elected representatives, and other government officials in the importance of funding biomedical research. Residents can lend their support in four various ways. The first is by attending the event on the 9th. Or if you cannot attend, consider sponsoring a table for $25, $50, or $100 and a place card will be included in the table centerpiece showing your sponsorship. The third option is to mail a check made out to Farah, and you can mail that to Joan Gamble at 20 Woodland Street in Bridgewater, or by going to their secure website at curefa.org, clicking on Events, clicking on Tiffany's Friends for Farah, and then clicking on the secure URL link and making a donation.